peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty, my beautiful ones. Let's get into this energy. Leo. Yeah, Leo. I'm all within your energy. Happy full moon. And Leo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, happy full moon. And Leo. So this is a special edition for you all. I haven't been in your energy in probably a week or so. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to tap into the Sirens will be your first deck. And then we'll move on into the Tarot and see what time allows us. I hope that you are all doing well and that you are feeling lovely. You know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. Leo, let's tap in. Anything you need from me, that information can be found in the section below, okay? Mm -hmm. In the description section below, you'll find links to everything that you need, okay? Let's go ahead, tap in. Be sure to hit the like button. Mm-hmm, yeah. Hit it right now. <laughs> I mean, you should want to. You're partaking in the energy. But, however, hit the like button, subscribe, become a part of the dynasty. I would love to have you over here, all right? Let's get into your energy, beautiful Leos, all right? I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. As I channel these messages, be sure to take what is yours and to leave what is not. Make sure you're checking your zodiac signs. There are, um, there is a link below to get your free natal chart, to look into that energy, to study your chart, to see where these different frequencies may lie within your personal chart, okay? Let's get into it, beautiful Leos. Happy full moon in Leon. Thank you, Spirit. Mm. And this deck is the Sirens. We're pulling from the Sirens. More cards, Spirit. It's three. All right, beautiful Leos. Okay, let's get into this energy. Now, let me see. Can you see these? All right. So, Leo, there's a feminine energy, uh huh, and your energy, if this is not you, that has some expectations, okay? There is an energy of a feminine energy that is expecting something, okay? We can flip and switch these energies. There may be a masculine who is in expectation of something as well, okay? But this energy is a rider, okay? So this is something that they are looking to come towards them. Uh-huh, person, place, or thing. But there's been conversations that's been taking place in the parlor. Mm-hmm. There's been conversations, there has been gatherings in the parlor, and it's been about some type of hope. Someone is hopeful, okay, in this energy when it comes to these conversations that are being had. Here's the parlor, and here's the anchor, and the anchor is full of hope. Mm-hmm. And here's your rider. Mm, mm, I could just hear Tupac in my mind. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 you don't want to with me. Yeah. Okay. And there's a rich gent that is here. Okay. Somebody who's fortunate. 
Mm -hmm. A rich gent in this energy. Somebody that has some money. A, a king of pentacles energy, okay? And they have a gift. This rich gent has a gift, all right? And it may have something to do with this expectation that we see that's happening. There is a scythe here. Mm -hmm. And a scythe is next to a rich girl. So somebody's being done dirty. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. A scythe is way more painful than a sword, I'd reckon, right? Because it a claw at you. Uh-huh. So let's go ahead. Let's dip off into this energy a little more. Pull some more of these sirens and see what this energy is looking like. Be sure to take what is yours and to leave what is not. I split the deck on the good lady. There's a good lady in this energy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. And the good lady looks like the help, okay? So let's talk about it. What's the expectations here for Spirit for Leo? Leo. Okay. We got two that came out. Three, one. Oh, we got three that came out. Well, that was four that wanted to come out. One I just left in there. Okay, so we got the military here. And we got a cat and we got the clouds, okay? Yeah. So you see these clouds, they look pretty disturbing, right? They look somewhat toxic. The cat is here and the cat is in representation of loyalty. Yeah, along with the military uh, energy that is here. So there is someone who is like an official energy who is very loyal when times get hard, when things get rough is what I'm saying. So there's somebody in your energy that's currently going through something or that has been there for you. If you are going through something, vice versa, right? Okay. And this is connected to this energy of the expectation. So somebody is expecting for someone to pull up on them and be there for them and support them through a rough time right now. That's what I'm getting in this energy, okay? Tell us about this rich gent, this rich gent. Thank you. The moon, okay? So when it comes to the rich gent, there's some secrets. There's some secrets, uh-huh. Yeah, the moon is here. The rider. Give us the rider. Oh, okay. Hold on. Flu. Wow. The prison. Prison flew out fast. Now, whether this is a physical prison or a spiritual prison, prison is here, okay? And somebody's going to have to be a rider. Mm-hmm. Somebody is looking for a rider. Uh-huh. I won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. I split the deck on mediator. Mm. Okay, let's talk about it. Why is prison here with the rider? Hmm. Wow. Sorrows. Sorrows is here. Mm. This is getting deep. Okay, so we got sorrows here. And as you can see, this picture is someone that looks to be in despair of the possibility of possibly being imprisoned, okay? This is what I'm seeing. Mm, this is a very specific energy. Take what is yours and leave what is not. But I see this military energy with expectations. And I'm almost feeling as if this military energy is somewhat of a king of swords energy that is official, honorable, you know, and the law is basically what I'm getting at. So let's talk about it some more. 
okay, without just saying the military is the police, you know, um, but this, it's giving that energy, it's giving, okay, so let's talk about it, we got the parlor here, what's, what's being talked about in the parlor, thank you, spirit, for Leo, all right, oh, the whip, the whip, okay, so the whip is being talked about in the parlor. So this is telling me somebody wants to put the whip on something, the whip on someone, okay? Uh-huh, yeah. Somebody wants to whip something or someone into action. And it could be a good gent who wants to do the whipping. Uh-huh, this would be like an emperor energy. Mm. Let's talk about it some more. Why is the whip here? Why is the whip here, spirit, for Leo? Okay. Let that one rock too. All right. We got these. Ooh, three to come out for the whip. Wow. Okay. So there's a whip here concerning a child and a letter about a child. And the lilies are here. The lilies are about something precious. Uh huh. Peace comes to mind. So when it comes to the whip, someone is needing to be whipped into shape and it's involving a child, a letter of peace. Maybe somebody wants to come to peace when it comes to this child and a letter, some type of communication. Wow, your overall energy is a snake that is here. And behind the snake is a man. And this man is touching his heart as if it's being affected mm, with the snake here, okay? Spirit, why is the letter here with the child? Okay, two of them came out. Marriage in a house, okay? There's marriage in the house. Hmm. 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 Okay. That's a lot of information. So there's a marriage, a concern of marriage. It looks like a proposal. This is an energy of, you know... Someone showing a ring to another man, you know, um, kind of like, what do you think? You know, how do you think she'd like this ring? And it's coming out with a house. So it's as if someone wants to give a proposal of some sort and it involves a house. But there's been conversations in the parlor. Uh-huh about a letter and this whip and a child. T tell us about the anchor spirit. Why is the anchor here? Overall energy is a marriage. Yeah, it's a marriage. Mm. I'm hearing someone is, you know, being, are in this energy of feeling like they need to whip themselves into shape when it comes to you know, possibly um, marrying someone who they have had a child with. I split the deck. Clover is here. And the coffin. Wow. Okay. Let's talk about this hope. Why is hope here? A tower is here. So someone has some hope when it comes to things ending. There's something coming to an end, okay? There are some secrets that are here when it comes to a rich gent. And then we got the gift that's here. What is the gift? What is the gift, spirit? It's a lot going on in this energy. Mice, okay? So the gift is there's a gifted individual in this energy. He has major skills and Gifts is what I'm hearing. There's a lot of people or people that are looking to eat off of this energy, okay? Like mice, okay? 
Um, yeah, this energy definitely has people wanting to eat off of them, is what I'm hearing. It's what I'm seeing. Tell us about the sky. Uh-huh. And that's this hook. Okay. Captain Hook. Give us the sky. Leah. Thank you. Unexpected money. Uh -huh. So somebody did somebody dirty for some unexpected money. Uh-huh. Yeah. Give us this unexpected money in the sky. For Leo. The coffin comes out. Mmm. That's deep, right? Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and clarify this rich girl and move on into the tarot. Rich girl energy spirit. Rich girl. For Leo. Mm, okay. This one wants to come out too. So I'm going to let it. First of all, your overall energy is the cross, okay? So I get like hierophant energy from this, okay? So let's talk about what came out. Wow, this is a lot of cards that came out for the rich girl. All right, for the rich girl, we got wealth, okay? And this rich girl's rich for real. She got a lot of treasures, okay? A lot of treasures. She's definitely you know the starting the pinnacles energy and some more okay um there's a court here there's court here that comes out and there is snake that's here snake comes out when it's involving the rich girl along with some court concerning her wealth and you got a man and a woman ah uh, yeah, there's a masculine and a feminine energy that is involved with snaking this energy of a rich girl. Uh-huh. Mm. Let's talk about it. Let's get into the tarot. This is interesting. Hmm. There's a lot going on in your energy. Some prison time. For someone in your energy, okay? Along with some other times. A child is concerned. Spirit, give me hearts for Leo. Hearts for Leo. for the spirit. Let's talk about it. This energy is heavy. What is going on, Leo? Wait a minute. Oh, man. Okay, so let's talk about it. Hmm. Okay. So we got the seven of swords here, the judgment in reverse, the king of swords in reverse, the nine of wands in reverse, the nine of cups in reverse, the will of fortune in reverse, the eight of cups in reverse, and the four of wands in reverse. My goodness. 
Okay, so there is clearly a thief, uh-huh. Somebody who has stolen and lied and a lot of mis distrust, okay? Mm-hmm. Deceit, treacherous style, deceit. This energy doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions because the just judgment, excuse me, judgment is in the reverse. Mm. Wow. This is some interesting energy to say the least. Now, someone is very disappointed and they got a lot of self-doubt and worry at this time is also a judgment is in the reverse. This is someone feeling, you know, a lot of worry, self-doubt, and a lot of disappointment. Mm -hmm. And there's a King of Swords energy. And this King of Swords energy can be pretty ruthless. Yeah, in the reverse. King of Swords in reverse. This is someone who is manipulative and who also is considered to be inhumane because they're abusive. They abuse everything around them, okay? And there is a Knight of Wands energy. And this Knight of Wands energy is also in the reverse. Knight of Wands in reverse is someone who is also someone who has a low self-esteem. They have a lot of self-doubt about themselves. However, they are a daredevil. And it's as if they do things because of the insecurities that they have, you know, they're very impulsive and they can come across as a domineering energy, okay? Um, kind of forceful, right? So this nine of cups, there's a wish fulfillment that is here and it did not get fulfilled with this nine of cups that is in the reverse, uh-huh. And this will of fortune is in the reverse as well. And with this Wheel of Fortune and your energy, what I'm seeing is that next to this Eight of Cups, this Wheel of Fortune, this is somebody, there was an outside influence. It was some type of interruption that was made. Mm-hmm. Because the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is about setbacks, major setbacks and some bad luck. Uh-huh. And this bad luck is this energy of this Eight of Cups, having somebody feeling, you know, stagnant as if they cannot leave where they're from. Like you're stuck in your hometown or you're stuck in a situation. Uh-huh. And also, this could be someone that is just hanging on. Hanging on to something that they should possibly be letting go of. Because they hang on because they fear some loss. And this person wants to avoid any type of changes possible. The Four of Wands is in reverse. And this is about someone that is in discord with someone. There's some type of home conflict. Someone in the energy of where it is you may meet, such as a parlor, okay? Uh-huh. This Four of Wands energy is also about conflict in the home and a lack of community. So you may have a group of people or there is a group of people that get together that are not together in a way that is in unison, right? Now this overall energy is the 10 of cups. And this 10 of cups energy, this is somebody's like complete fulfillment. I split the deck. Wow, the chariot is in reverse. Ew. Wow. Mm. Okay, so chariot is in reverse when I split the deck. So this means that there is no forward movement, and we already see that. We already see that in this energy. So let's go ahead and tap in. This is very, I mean, the it's full moon in Leo. So things are being revealed. Spirit, give us this. King of Swords in reverse. King of Swords in reverse, Leo energy. Okay. Wow. The Hermit is in reverse and the Sun is in reverse. What is going on here? Wow. Okay. So this is someone who is not going 
in because they're very lonely and unhappy. Uh-huh. This is someone who is very lonely, very unhappy, and stuck is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing stuck. This king of swords in reverse. This is how this energy is feeling. Mm. This person is isolating themselves. And they lost their way. Uh-huh. This is what Spirit is saying. My goodness. Let's talk about it. Hmm. Nine of Wands. Some flipped. Oh, we got two that flipped. Now the this Nine of Wands in reverse. Wow, wow. I cannot, Leo. I keep looking at my cards like what's going on with, with the cards. Like I cannot. The Two of Cups is in reverse and. The seven of pentacles is in reverse. So definitely there is a breakup of some sort. Um, yeah, there is no unity in this energy. And somebody did not invest in this two of cups. So this is the seven of pentacles that's in the reverse. Wow. And the Seven of Pentacles energy comes out with a Two of Cups energy. So Seven of Pentacles in the reverse is an energy of somebody who is very, you know, they procrastinated, okay? And it also feels like a very, very slow progress. Doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. However, it is due to someone possibly procrastinating as well as you know, someone could be very impatient on the other hand when we look at it, right? But you got the two of cups energy here in the reverse. And this is someone, this energy has been quarreling, okay? There hasn't been any harmony in this energy. And someone is withdrawn from the relationship, okay? Whether this is a person, place, or thing, the overall energy is the devil, okay? Let's talk about it some more. Mm. I just want to look through these cards. Because um, I don't mind turning them all around. Just to see how they're going to come out. Because, I mean, my goodness. I mean, the energy is coming out how it's coming out. But... Take what is yours and leave what is not. The Leo, y'all running hot. That's what I see. It's a lot going on in this energy. Just going through the cards because if they're going to come out in the reverse, they're going to come out in reverse, you know. But <laughs> I'm just going through them. <laughs> Yeah, and we already see in your other deck, you know, there is a lot going on in this energy, and it is full moon. It's very, very uh, transparent is what I'm feeling. Mm. Okay, let's talk about it. Spirit, give me cards. Give me cards for Leo energy. Give me the four of wands. Give me the four of wands in reverse. A tower. Mm-hmm. A tower is here. So, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, you got the four of wands in reverse. So, there is something coming to an end. Definitely. Okay. Whether I turn all the cards around in the upright or not, you know, it's, uh, it, it, the cards don't come out how they come out. Ten of Swords, uh, excuse me, Seven of Swords. Let's look into this, these lies and this deceit. 
Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Esprit. Okay, Queen of Wands, okay? So there's a Queen of Wands here. Uh-huh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy, Water Sign, Energy, okay? This Queen of Wands has her cup closed, mm-hmm. So let's tap into her energy a bit more. Her cup is closed. And with the Seven of Swords, this is saying that, you know, this would be a Queen of Cups with a cup, closed cup. And this Queen of Wands may be in this energy of, Mm, feeling wounded. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups with the Seven of Swords for Leo. Okay. The Hierophant is here. Okay. So this Hierophant energy. Mm, I spit the deck. Yeah. This is somebody who is in balance. Wow. Behind the devil and a Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? Yeah, so there's a Queen of Cups energy in your energy, Leo, that's feeling some type of way that has something to do with some lying and some stealing and some cheating, okay? But the Hierophant is here. Why is the Hierophant here, Spirit? Why is the Hierophant here in Leo's energy? Okay. Yeah, because someone feels left out in the cold. So it, it seems as if this Queen of Cups energy, she feels left out in the cold. She's possibly having some financial burdens as well. But there's the Temperance Angel that's here. This Temperance Angel says that um, with this Five of Pentacles, someone being left out in the cold, somebody is wanting to find some balance to get everything back together and get everything right. Mm -hmm. But there's judgment in reverse. Judgment in reverse, spirit. Mm, okay, it's the temperance angel. Yeah, somebody feels like this, <clears throat> that there is some type of balancing, some type of moderation that's needed. Judgment in reverse and temperance, spirit, for Leo. Mm. Page of Swords. Mm, there's some type of information that um, needs to come through involving this reverse judgment. I don't know why I'm here and not guilty in my head, okay? Yeah. Why is the Page of Swords here? Wow. There's a heartbreak here. Dear Swords. Somebody didn't do something. They feel like they didn't do something. Uh-huh. Page of Swords, Temperance Angel. Okay. Wow. Yeah. New love is here. This is a page of cups. So we got a page of swords, okay? And this is a message that, you know, about truth. Are this energy, okay, this is a message of love that's coming through. Somebody has some fresh love, a fresh energy of love that is here, okay? But there is a judgment that's in the reverse. Somebody's disappointed, and they're disappointed when it comes to things balancing out with this temperance angel here. So they're possibly watching who it is they see as a cup of love, a new fresh love, okay? This is what I'm hearing, okay? This is what I'm seeing because there's some heartbreak here. So somebody feels disappointed to the point to where they feel heartbroken. Why is the Page of Cups here in Leo's energy? Mm. I got to take them out the way they came <laughs> Okay, so we got a three of cups in the upright and a ten of swords in the reverse. So definitely somebody wants to come together and, you know, just come together in a celebratory mode and try to heal this ten of swords that is in the reverse. Mm. Ten of swords in reverse is about somebody feels like, hey, I survived, Okay. And they also want to delay some type of ending. Mm. So someone doesn't want to see something in because it's going to be heartbreaking. They really get back together in this energy with another uh -huh, and celebrate. Now, 
Ten of Swords, Three of Cups, Spirit. Wow. Yeah. Overall energy is the Ace of Cups. So definitely, this is someone wanting, wanting the Ace of Cups with someone, okay? Definitely. I split the deck. It's a Knight of Cups that's in the reverse. Someone isn't coming forward with an offer because of the death that is here. Uh-huh. It's been a death put to something. Wow. Spirit, give me this nine of cups in reverse. Nine of cups in reverse. For Leo. Mm, four of swords, okay? So four of swords is here. And it's nine of cups in reverse. This is telling me that someone pretty much is in this energy of needing to pull back some. Mm-hmm. Because a nine of cups in reverse is somebody who's very arrogant and they're greedy at the same time. And they overindulge in whatever it is they are doing. They're very materialistic. So this is, this nine of cups in reverse, somebody needs to pull back from this energy. Take a rest from this energy, okay? Tell me about the nine of cups in reverse and the four of swords for Leo, okay? Yeah, Ace of Wands. Somebody needs to come up with a new way, a new idea, something while they in this four of swords energy. Because other than that, they're going through a bunch of stress and anxiety with this nine of swords being their overall energy. And they're dealing with a bunch of secrets and deceitful lies as well. And this may be why this energy is here really laminating, thinking about what it is they need to probably have a conversation about when it comes to creating something. If this is what they want to do. Ace of Wands and Four of Swords, Spirit for Leo. Ace of Wands, Four of Swords for Leo. Okay, this one wants to come out. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is really tripping over this Nine of Pentacles energy. Who is also a high priestess is what I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Will of Fortune in reverse. Will of Fortune in reverse. Oh, okay. Wow. All of these wanted to come out together. I'm a letter. Will of Fortune in reverse is here with the hangman, okay? This is something that has been completely suspended. And we see this with the Wheel of Fortune because it's a bunch of bad luck in reverse, okay? There's also justice that is here, all right? We've seen this in the siren cards, all right? So justice is here. Uh, there's some karma that is happening in this energy, okay? And it has everything to do with a lot of grief and sorrow, regarding a family okay a ten of pentacles energy somebody's empire somebody's legacy somebody's dynasty okay so this is that energy and this energy is stuck when it comes to making moves uh eight of cups in reverse yes a lot of burdens overall energy ten of wands okay are it could be a breakthrough somebody's wanting a breakthrough of some sort Mm, eight of Cups in reverse. Leo. Okay. Yeah, so somebody feels blocked, okay? Somebody's protecting themselves from this energy. Mm. Yeah. And it may be this energy of this Queen of Cups that we see up here. Now, we got the Tower here. Why is this energy blocked, Spirit? Give us the energy of seven of wands and eight of cups in reverse okay yeah somebody wants to expand in this energy they're waiting on their ships to pull on up but it doesn't look to me like this is any smooth sailing going on these waters look like the pits of hell if you ask me i mean the water look like fire okay why is the three of wands here spirit for leo Mm. Oh, 
okay? Yeah, because again, it's just repeating what this Eight of Cups in reverse is, all right? Because somebody is, it's like they're wishing. They feel blocked from being able to move, okay? This is Eight of Cups in reverse, and then we got the Seven of Wands. Somebody feels blocked from being able to really, you know, do what it is they would like to do. And that's expand, uh-huh. But they can't move forward. They're not moving forward in this energy of the Six of Swords. Mm. Because there's a tower happening. Spirit, give me the tower for Leo. Tower for Leo. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Someone is a wounded hero in this energy. And they don't want to give up. They're not giving up. Tower of Nine of Wands. Tower of Nine of Wands. Okay. The Queen of Wands. Yeah, she wanted to come out. She was the overall energy. Somebody doesn't want to give up on the Queen of Wands energy because they're feeling heartbroken behind this energy, okay? So there's a Queen of Wands energy that is definitely tapped into this energy of the Nine of Pentacles that we see a Queen uh, remember flipping switches energies. Uh, so the Queen of Wands, you got Earth, you got a Virgo over here, possible Virgo energy with this Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? But we got the Queen of Wands with some fire over here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. But let's talk about it some more, okay? Queen of Wands, why is the Queen of Wands here with the tower? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Wow, a Queen of Swords. Mm. Mm. Who's the Queen of Swords, Spirit, in Leo's energy? Okay. Uh, a Queen of Cups. Okay. So, Leo, you may be in this energy of being a Queen of Swords energy. Okay. This is Libra. You may have some Libra placements. Okay. But this... Air placements, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, but someone's in their feelings, okay? But they're not speaking on what it is that they're feeling because they're juggling. This king has two cups in his hand, a small one and a big one. There is a message of love that needs to come through with this Eight of Wands here. But there's a Knight of Cups that's in the reverse, uh-huh. So, a Knight of Cups in reverse, this is that energy of the King of Cups that's not expressing themselves. Because the Knight of Cups in reverse is somebody who is also jealous, disappointed, and they're looking for some type of perfection in somebody or something other than themselves. But they also want to avoid conflicts as well. So... Mm. This King of Cups could be in this energy of wanting to avoid a conflict with a Queen of Swords. I mean, I don't blame them. This is a Queen of Swords, okay? And this person is working with their emotions, not flipping switch these energies. But this is what's going on in this energy, okay? I split the deck. Page of Wands. This King of Cups is about, you know, they have an idea of how to try to make this right. Why is the King of Cups here, Spirit? How's the King of Cups feeling? How's the King of Cups feeling? Why is he here? Okay. Yeah, he's here for the Ten of Cups. He's feeling real, okay? Somebody brings a lot of overall happiness and stuff. You know, this whole family energy, abundance, overall abundance is how the King of Cups feel about someone because they're totally stressed out and feeling a whole lot of anxiety behind it. And there's some, again, a lot of secrets that are hidden. Ah, when it comes to a mothering energy uh, or someone who is in, a, maybe someone's mother, baby mama, wife or something that is here there's definitely a love from the past who is very burdensome on this energy. Wow. Mm. Hmm. Major Arcanas. So let's go ahead and dip off into the Major Arcanas and see what's going on. The double majors. Yeah. 
tap it into the double majors. Um, get some more energy out here. It's a lot happening in my Leo's energy. Full moon is acting up. Okay. Everything is coming to life. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm seeing. Let me go ahead and get these up. I will work with the double majors. 45, 45 on the timer. 45, 45 on the timer. Look that frequency up. It will have significant meaning. Significant meaning, okay? Yeah, look that up. 45, 45. That was pretty dope seeing it there like that. It's definitely going to have some more energy to your story, okay? Let's go ahead and dip off into these double majors. Get a little more to the point, uh-huh. And we'll see, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll pull some, we'll see what other cards I'll pull out after this one. Mm. You may be dealing with a Leo. You may have Leo placements. However, someone in this energy is experiencing a lot of um, things at one time. Be sure to take what is yours and to leave what is not. Spirit cards for Leo. Okay. Mm, and this one want to flip over, so we taking it. Okay. More card spirit. for Leah. Mm. And these cards are not red in reverse. They're made in reverse already. I hope you can all see these in the camera and one more off the top. All right, let's talk about it. Okay, Leo. Mm, it feels like I'm reiterating um, because there's the world here, okay? Somebody's closed out a cycle and there's a king of wands that's here along with a king of swords energy. Mm -hmm. And this king of wands, this king of wands is the one that is um, a noble king, okay? Very passionate, okay? And powerful is what I'll say. But you have the King of Swords that is here. And this is the one that stands for the truth. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit of a, a stiff lip is what I'll call him. Uh -huh. But this chariot is here. And this is somebody who is not in motion right now. Okay, This person could possibly have a down car. Okay, may not have a vehicle or just simply is stuck and can't move, is broken down somewhere, okay? Because the chariot is here, but the lion is asleep. This is a sleeping lion for this chariot, okay? And there is the high priestess here again in this energy. And this high priestess is here and they're, you know, they're here and they, they know what it is they know. They're just not saying everything, okay? But definitely there is this page of cups. Somebody looking in their cup seeing that their fish is gone. Somebody has simply left the premises, all right? That fish is gone. That fish is headed back into the sea to mingle with the rest of the fish in the sea, right? You got the moon that is here. And this moon is about... 
things that are hidden that are coming out. Uh-huh. They're double major. So it's two cards for each of them. And this is the moon that things that were hidden are coming out. And people are fleeing. All right. There's some inf information that has come out. It it's so shocking that you have the page of swords that's here. And this page of swords is pretty much they didn't see this coming. Uh-huh. It's almost as if they were attacked with the blatant truth. Uh-huh. And this is why you see a King of Swords energy here. Mm, let's talk about it. Who is the King of Wands? Thank you. King of Wands is the Emperor, okay? Uh-huh. So, possible fire sign. King of Wands energy, Sagittarius. Fire sign. Leo. Aries. The Emperor is Aries, okay? More fire. So, Leo, this may be your energy. This feels like your energy. And the King of Swords is here. Who is this King of Swords? Wow. And the Emperor is a magician. They're an alchemist. Who? King of Swords. Who's the King of Swords? King of Swords. Okay. King of Swords is a page of wands, okay? So it's definitely two masculine energies in this energy, okay? I'm not flipping and switching with this. I'm definite. It's two masculine energies. Now, this King of Swords, they're, they want to be creative. They're definitely somebody who deals with a lot of emotions because you got the Page of Cups as here. Uh-huh. Give me the Page of Wands with the King of Swords for Leo. Ooh. It's the death, okay? Yeah. So something ended with this King of Swords energy. Between a star, a healing energy, okay? Possible Aquarius placements. But something ended. This is faith. This is hope. This is a wish upon a star, okay? So something that this... Something that this um, King of Swords wanted... Uh, yeah, they, they did not get, they did not get, oh, my stomach is growling, y'all. <laughs> okay. Why is the chariot here? Spirit, give me the chariot. Give me the chariot. Chariot broke down. Mm, yeah, there's a knight of cups. So there's the energy of one to come towards you, but they can't. They they don't have any movement right now, and they want to come towards the Empress energy. Mm-hmm. Who is this Knight of Cups? Who is this Knight of Cups spirit? Leo. Mm. That's too many. I don't like the way they came out. Knight of Cups for Leo. Okay. Yeah, so this person is under judgment, okay? Judgment is here. And it's more than one person that's under judgment is what I'm gathering. So this energy, there, there's energy wants to come towards an emperor's energy, but they're under judgment. So now there's this energy of an emperor energy who is a knight, excuse me, a king of wands energy, Sagittarius, Aries energy, okay? Doesn't have to be. They can have this in their chart. However, this energy is free game is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that the emperor has access to this empress where this knight, this king of swords does not, okay? Okay. And they feel some type of way about it because they're sitting in judgment. And this overall energy is the king of pentacles. This could be somebody possibly wanting to deal back with their baby mama or their baby daddy. Flip and switch it, okay? But definitely, they feel in some type of way about a queen of wands. They're jealous. They're jealous. And they feel like things have been suspended. And when it comes to this 
Empress energy, they see them as a star energy, okay? But they didn't want to give is what I'm being told. They didn't want to give to this energy. Mm. Tell us more. The world. Tell us about the world. The Leo. Yeah, there's the Knight of Wands here, okay? And it's not a wise energy, somebody that wants to rush passionately towards someone, you know? And and do they magician thing. But this energy is not understanding why isn't their magic working anymore. Somebody closed out the cycle of having this desire of wanting to go towards someone, but the cycle is closed. Give me the Knight of Wands for Leo. Okay. Three cards came out. Yeah, so there's a temperance angel here. Um, and a page of pentacles. So someone, you know, someone is being guided. They're being guided to make an offer. But this person feels like he failed at it. Being a fool, the ch this is like taking a really foolish chance that they took and they were not successful at it, okay? So there's definitely a Knight of Wands energy that is watching. And this is someone who is very passionate and gung-ho is what I'm hearing, okay? But they're being guided to make things right in this energy is what I'm hearing with a star energy uh -huh. with a healing energy I split the deck but these secrets they're out now they were slowly creeping out I mean they've been exposed somebody's been exposed give me the fool give me the fool with the fallen rose yeah, this is about Page of Pentacles, okay? Mm. This Page of Pentacles definitely has some type of upside down offer is what I'm hearing. Yeah, it was an upside down offer and it was from an arrogant, cocky emperor energy who's kind of stubborn, if you can, you know, get this energy from this emperor. It's two different emperors. This one's standing on something, but this one is standing on ego and pride is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Mm, I split the deck. And they're in this King of Cups energy now, feeling sad and upset about it. Mmm. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Yeah. Someone is in a hangman energy. They're confused. It's like, where did I go wrong? I'm confused. I don't know how to move. Things are suspended. This person may even be seeing things from new perspectives now. Let's go ahead. Let's get some tea cards. See what's going on in here. Uh-huh. And get ready to close out. There's a lot of information going on. Uh-huh. Some of this information brought some clarity to my Leo energies, okay? You were wondering about something. If, you know, if any part of this story resonates with you, go ahead and hit the like button, okay? Uh-huh. Beautiful ones. Wow. This was an overload tonight with this fool. <laughs> I'm back in your energy soon, okay? I want to really get to know these energies. Because um, you definitely, look, you have someone who is pulling up on the scene and they're ready to do what is right, okay? And there's somebody that is upset because they did not do what is right, possibly with a mother figure in the past, okay? Or just someone that you were in a relationship. Now, this could be a person, place, or thing as well, okay? Your old employer didn't do you right, okay? Never regretting losing you. 
Uh huh. You may feel some sense of an adjustment, uh, in judgment or injustice, excuse me, when it comes to uh, the circumstance situation. But there are things that you are in your energy. There is a high priestess energy that is here, okay? And this high priestess, they're not really exposing what it is they know, they're letting really the most high expose everything, okay? Spirit, give me cards for Leo. Okay, this one want to come out. Scarcity tax tactics, okay? Somebody's using scarcity tactics. Okay, and this one. What else for Leo? for Leo. One more. Thank you. All right. Let's see what came out for you. Give you some more energy as to what may be going on. Okay. So somebody's using some type of scarcity tactics. Okay. Someone is also, you know, looking to steal your ideas. They possibly copy your work, uh-huh, as well as they feed off of you. Um, there's drama definitely being started, and this person is fishing for comments, all right? You may have some social media, um, a social media outlet, or just basically the work that you do. This person is fishing for things, okay? Fishing for comments is out here. This person is constantly overthinking and stressed out and overanalyzing everything they're in their head. Uh-huh. Stuck, trapped there in their head like that. Over some happiness hating. This is what I'm seeing, okay? Happiness hater. There's someone that doesn't want to see someone move on and be happy with an emperor energy, okay? So they're fake flexing out here and full of ego, all right? Acting like an emperor and a king of swords in reverse energy, right? This person is a forcer. They may be someone who forces things on you, but this fake flexing has everything to do with them acting like they got it and they don't. They act in rich and they floss and money and act fancy, but they're just a show off, okay? And this person likes to force things on people. Places and things is what I'm being told, okay? Uh-huh. They do this to get what they want. And ultimately, what they want is you, Leo, because there's love on the brain. And it's dreaming, fantasizing, and daydreaming, and nostalgic energy, the whole nine. Give me some more energies for Leo. What else is happening? Thank you. It's me. Okay. We got three more that came out. I just felt like something else needed to be said. Yeah. So, Leo, you may be in this queen rising energy, okay? Stepping into your power and praised. Coming up in the spotlight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, are this is someone in your energy. Because there is an energy of giving money. Somebody is, is needing to give someone money in this energy. And somebody just simply wants you back. Okay? Yeah. When it's all said and done. And I felt like that's what needed to be said. Because this is what we see. Beautiful Leos. Happy full moon in Leo. Thank you for allowing me to do your reading in this energy. This beautiful moon energy. Full moon energy. I am Empress 444. And this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love.